You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Pottawatomie County invites you to a celebration of some recent upgrades to their fairgrounds. We have the Fair Board President Mike Lara and Vice President Richard Dugan here with the details today. Welcome, gentlemen. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks so, Pottawatomie us. County, what's your little history, Mike? How long has the fair even been around in the fairgrounds? So the, the, our fair has been around since 1907. A little bit of a history. It, yes, yes, ma'am. And it started as a log rolling co uh, competition and it's worked through itself and then kind of morphed into a fair for for the 4-H. Log rolling competition. Yes, ma'am. That is fascinating. Yes, and so now you have all the traditional events? Yes, ma'am. We we have uh, shows for the hogs, for the chickens, uh, beef and pigs and uh, everything that goes on with the county fair. No more log rolling, though. No, ma'am. I'm a little no, disappointed to hear that, but maybe you can bring it back some here. Yeah, maybe. So, Richard, what were you noticing were some of maybe the shortcomings on the fairgrounds, and then how did you seek to rectify that? Um, we looked at all the fairgrounds and found out what can we do for our community, what things can we make, bring more people in. So one of the things uh, that we did, we added some more camping grounds so people can actually stay at the fairgrounds. And then our big kind of project is this new building, a livestock building that we can house. Like Mike said, uh, swine, sheep, poultry, rabbits, all those livestock projects that the 4-H the members bring to the fair. How big of an effort was it to get that building to become a reality? So it, a pretty big effort. Um, we had to find a couple of big donors and uh, Canequip and the Leon Klein family uh, generously donated some large amounts of money to get us started. And then last November we had a kind of a fundraising event, a uh, live auction, silent auction and a meal. And so that got us kick-started, but we still need some funds to be raised to, to finish off the project or p pay off the note. Now, the building itself exists. Yes. How much so far has this been a real community effort, Mike? Um, like, how many people have been a part of these fundraisers? Oh, man. Oh. Uh, Gosh. It's I, countless. Yeah. It, it is countless. Yeah. Oh. So now you want to invite everybody to celebrate their role. What do yeah. you have planned this coming up? Uh, we have planned a chili feed and a silent auction. We had generous people donate items and gifts and services to, to our cause to help raise funds to pay off this building or help pay for this building. And this is Sunday, correct? Yes, ma'am. So it's really a whole day. Walk us through what's all going to happen. Because the big part, first of all, is something to kick off the celebration, right? You're going to cut a ribbon. Yes, ma'am. And that will open the building officially. Yep. And then once you cut the ribbon, what's going to happen, Richard? One o'clock, we'll have the chili feed. So it's $10 for adults, $5 for kids. Then at one o'clock, we'll start the silent auction as well as the live auction. So the live auction, there's quite a few things. Uh, a lot of livestock sales coming up for the spring. So there's uh, credit towards those sales. Then also we have some projects for students or for our 4-H members, Legos, uh, sewing, those type of things. We have a detail equipment um, or equipment detailing donated. So just kind of a lot of things for about everybody. So encourage people to come by and have a bowl of chili and see what they can purchase. What's your pitch for us, Mike? Why should people support something like the fair and the fairgrounds? Because it serves uh, quite a bit our youth and education and uh, leadership um, through 4-H and it serves the community for Pot County as well. Well, I, I can t attest to that firsthand. I grew up in 4-H and the part of our summer, yes. you always yes. work toward that. <laughs> So yeah, it is, it is a lot of fun and glad to have the community support for your fair. The chili celebration and ribbon cutting for the Pottawatomie County Fairgrounds is this Sunday, 1230. They're going to cut the ribbon, then stay for some chili, have fun with the silent auction. I love me a good auction. Two o'clock is the live <laughs> auction and proceeds will go to finish paying off that building. Guys, where is your fairgrounds for those who aren't familiar with Pottawatomie County? It's in Onega, Kansas. It is straight north of St. Mary's or an hour from here, straight north of St. Mary's, about 24, 25 miles. And, or one may go. It'll but. be a very nice drive. Head to Onega yes, for that on Sunday. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here and Thank filling you. us in on Thank your you. project. Great, great effort.